Every day, all over the world, tens of thousands of people of different ages and backgrounds will injure their head unexpectedly. Whether that be through sports injuries, a trip or fall, or a road traffic crash, traumatic brain injury can have devastating consequences for the people affected. Bleeding into the brain is very common following a head injury. As the volume of blood increases, it exerts pressure inside the skull. If the bleeding continues and the pressure continues to rise, the brain becomes starved of oxygen and the patient may die. With an estimated 69 million cases per year, a figure that's only expected to rise, we desperately need new strategies to prevent death and disability from traumatic brain injury. This is why the CRASH-3 clinical trial results are hugely exciting. Coordinated by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, CRASH-3 is one of the largest clinical trials ever conducted into traumatic brain injury. It's been a global collaboration involving 12,000 patients in 175 hospitals across 29 countries. CRASH-3 tested a treatment called tranexamic acid, a widely available and cheap drug that reduces bleeding by inhibiting blood clot breakdown. Previous trials showed that this treatment is successful in preventing deaths from life-threatening bleeds in the chest or abdomen. The researchers wanted to know if tranexamic acid might also reduce deaths by preventing brain bleeds too. The CRASH-3 results provided evidence of three things. First, tranexamic acid is safe to give. Second, early treatment with tranexamic acid can reduce head injury deaths. And third, the effect of the treatment is greater the earlier it is given. Each 20-minute delay leads to a 10% reduction in treatment effectiveness. If these results are put into practice, tens of thousands of head injury deaths could be prevented worldwide each year. Find out more at crash3.lshtm.ac.uk.